Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to experiment with some more bottles. In my last video you saw that we boiled water in that wine bottle and that was a proven type of bottle. Some of the other bottles that I've tried was a jelly jar and those real thick glass sugar dispensers. They did not work at all. When you put a jar down in the fire, it seems to do all right, but once it starts to bubble up and those, those bubbles rise up and touch this very hot glass, it breaks it. But I found this jar the other day, and I'll show you that video here in a second. And it's an ocean spray jar. And I'm thinking this might be able to, this might be a type of glass that can take those extremes in temperature. Uh, we're about to find out. So. Once again, like we did the wine bottle, I want to go ahead and get it boiling in, in my hobo stove. See if we can boil this water in this jar and cook up a little bit of rice. So, let me give you a close-up of this. So, here's a bottle that I found just yesterday. And I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is more than 10 years old. There's no numbers on the bottom indicating that. But uh, there's this corrosion on. This is aluminum. And it, doesn't, it actually still has a seal on it. But you see it looks, looks pretty dirty. But anyways, let me show you where I found this yesterday. And I'll come right back. buried up in the leaves a little bit there. It was pretty nasty, but it cleaned right up. So yes, I would like to try it for solar ignition, but we're not gonna see any sun for days and days. So let's see if I can boil water and if I can cook in it. We'll use this empty Vic and some pine needles. Now, yes, you could take and Grind and grind and grind and grind until you get enough shavings off this mini ferro rod, a pile of them, and then stick them next to the pine needles and ignite them. But I think it's quicker and easier to do it this way. Stick them right down in beside that wheel there. Try to tuck it down in there a little bit.
it's just now starting to boil. Let's hope it does not break the bottle. This is a, supposed to make a cup and a half of rice. This is a this is a two cup bottle, 16 ounces. What do you think? What do you think? Is the bottle going to survive? Let's just see if the bottle survives. Should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Doesn't take much, just a little butter, some salt and pepper. I'm gonna wash that bottle out right there because we are gonna go ahead and I'll try that for some solar ignition. I'm not gonna make a video about it, I don't think. I'll just uh I'll post a comment about it later on when the sun finally comes back out again. I was washing that bottle and I saw the very bottom of it did get some cracks in it, so I threw it away. And the wine bottle, the, the, the opening in a wine bottle is too small to try to cook rice in, but you could boil water in it, purify water. Let's give this a try. Lord, I thank you for this food and such a beautiful day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mm. buttered rice with just salt and pepper it's excellent alright y'all I appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one